<laughs> what's up y'all hold on i think i got this joint upside down there we go what's up y'all is it wait a minute it ain't time what the hell okay i'm gonna stay this way hey y'all hey y'all what's going on all right so look we're gonna finish this hey gerald didn't i ask you to call me what the hell is wrong with you you going cr are you going crazy or something Gerald Baylor, I asked you to call me. So listen, if y'all know Gerald Baylor, put an APB. I tell him, not, let that nigga know I got an APB out on that ass because I need him to call me. Am I straight, y'all, or am I crooked? Am I straight or am I going sideways? I'm trying to, I'm trying to fix the iPad so y'all can hear me, so y'all can see me properly. Give me some thumbs. Am I, am I okay? He said, hey, P. What? Where is the damn? Oh, oh, that, oh, that's it. Give me, give me some time. That's eight, that's eight o'clock skate, girl. That's eight o'clock skate. Chill out. I got you. That's eight o'clock skate. Tia, call me on the phone because it won't let me do it while I'm on iPad. Call me on the phone right now. Call me, call me, call me. Hurry up. Call me back. All right, listen, y'all. So, y'all know I am following... Monique, right? Because I mean, I support the bitch. I support her. That's my bitch. So, you know, she from Baltimore and everything. I'm supporting her. So, I'm following her, right? With with, with this incident, with this with this situation, this five hundred thousand dollar young ass situation. I'm following her. So, I don't know if y'all caught it earlier, but earlier I was saying how she was talking about Cheryl Underwood came for pretty much, right? She said she don't understand how to fuck Cheryl Underwood. Y'all know Cheryl Underwood, they want to smile like this. You know, she smiled like this. She got the big gums and they pink and black. You know, the one with the big face. Y'all know Cheryl Underwood. Stop it. So listen, I'm good. Hi, hi, Joe Mullen. I, I, I'm good. I'm good, baby. So look, check this out. So what happened was, so what happened was she literally... Uh, Cheryl, um, Cheryl said something. Cheryl said something about her, right? And she came back on her joint. And y'all know me. I like to let y'all know, you know, because I don't want nobody thinking I'm bullshitting, right? So, hold on. So, so she come back on her joint and she say, "What's that? sister? Bitch, I don't know who that is." So look. So what happened was she come back on Cheryl. Right? So y'all know me. I gotta I gotta play it real quick. She told Cheryl <laughs> Monique ain't playing, yo. Monique is straight. You know what she doing now, y'all? The hood is coming out. Keep it 100. Baltimore is coming straight out, right? And then she a gangster all by herself for it. Hold on. Hello? Oh, oh, wait, wait, no, wait. Give me one second. Go back on and watch. Give me one second. I gotta. All right, give me one second. I got to go on Instagram real quick so y'all can hear what Monique said to Cheryl Underwood first. Give me a second. I'm going to call you right back. All right, I got So listen, y'all. So what happened was I got to go on Instagram. That was my niece. Because, see, she going to be my co-host tonight. Because, see, y'all like when she come on. That's Tia Crazy Ass. So what happened was... Y'all know everybody, everybody's talking about Monique, right? The joint ain't even getting old. That's why I love it. And you know how some shit, like, remember, um, Tyrese, remember he went on, um, Facebook Live and he was crying, talking about, I miss my daughter, I want to see my daughter. Boom, he cried. He said he wanted to miss his daughter. He went to court to, see, you know, get visitation right for his daughter. Boom, that shit over with. Ain't nobody saying nothing about nothing to him no more, right? So now, with Monique, though, listen, Monique said, Monique said to Cheryl, she said, if anybody know what, what, I, what, what, like, what the fuck I'm going through, what I'm feeling, she like pretty much saying, bitch, it should be you because, watch this, she said, bitch, it should be you because one thing, certain two things are sure, man, you hit the road plenty of times for a show. For fifty dollars to seventy five dollars, so why the fuck would I stoop that low and go back on that shit like that? And 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 for real, and like 
Bitch, take, take $75, $50. That's how she feel that 500000 was to her, right? That shit was about like 50000 So here it is. Y'all know I like to go here. I gotta talk to you this morning. I've been listening to Marching and hearing everybody's opinion. But yours, see, we two black female comedians. Say it, Mo. You know what it's like when we first got started. Tell her. on that road making $50 and $75 a night. Tell it, Mo. And the one thing I admired about you, everybody knew you don't mess with Cheryl Underwood's money. Whoa. Uh huh. Why does that seem to be a problem? Right. You see Ellen, Rosie, Roseanne, oh, Melissa McCarthy, mm -hmm. Tina Fey, Amy Schumer. Yeah. Their fame matches their financial payday. You motherfucking right, bitch. They white. So all I'm saying, Cheryl, is if you prove me wrong, bring me on the show. Oh shit. I will apologize. No, not the V. But if you're proven wrong, uh huh. Will you not only apologize? Uh huh. Will you then stand with us? Oh shit. So, now you have it. Hey, Cheryl Underwood. Gotta talk to you this morning. Oh, shit. Stop right there, Mo. Hold it. Let me answer your question. So, she said, hey, Cheryl Underwood. Bitch, real cute and professional, right? But she was salty. Hey, Cheryl Underwood. And the crazy thing about it is they know each other. So, you know, they on first first term basis. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, hey, Mo. Hey, whore. Hey, bitch. She, she, she real professional with one. She's, hey, Cheryl Underwood. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, girl. So Mo said, if you bring me on the view, right? Did y'all hear? Mo said, if you bring me on the view, she said, if I am proven wrong, okay? She like, bitch, you know me, bitch. We ate together. We slept in the same hotel bed together, bitch. When we only had one motherfucking room, when it was about six of us female comedians. This is what Monique trying to explain to Cheryl. Bitch, stop forgetting where the fuck you come from, sugar. You see what I'm saying? So that's what, that's how the shit going down. So she say, yo, bring me on. She like, bitch, bring me on the vid. Pull some strings. Some strings that ain't that needs to be pulled. Find me some strings, bitch, but pull them and get me on it. Cause see, you ain't even the top dog. Maybe I need to be calling Sharon. You understand? Cause anytime they put Big Face Eve on this motherfucker, she's still wearing fake ponytails, bitch. Cheryl, you better. <laughs> hey Cheryl, you better watch the moves you make it because what she failed to realize, bitch, they didn't put a light skinned black girl on there. She ain't foreigner. She might be married to a prince, a king, or whoever he is. She ain't no foreigner. She's a black girl from New York. Yo, you getting too old? Why you ain't calling other phone back, yo? You just oh ho ho. So so the thing of it is, you know what I'm saying, Cheryl. You may just get back in the same predicament, baby, that Mo is in now. You understand? Your manager might be pussyfooting you, Cheryl. So my thing is, I still fucks with Mo. Fuck y'all. Y'all, I need my nails done. Fuck y'all. I still fuck with Mo. Because Mo keeping it 100. All day and all night. Mo saying one thing certain and two things for sure. She like, hold it. Cheryl, bitch. Yo, we did, we tried, we traveled, we drove for sure. It's fifty dollars and seventy-five dollars. You see what I'm saying? Give me a minute, Tia. Give me a sec, Tia. So my whole thing is Tia, turn your back, turn my volume down. I can hear me echoing in the background. So my whole thing is, yo, you never forget where you come from. I don't give a fuck how big you get. Yo, let me tell you something. All that molestation that's going on, that shit going on because motherfuckers forgot where they come from. Tim, turn the volume down. It's echoing. Okay, so what I'm saying to y'all, yo, Tia, I got you on, baby. What's up, niece? Okay. <laughs> All right, so so what you so I'm what you feel? Done. What you feel? Well, don't be funny. Don't think I'm funny because I'm not. I'm real. And don't be dying because, bitch, I'm not coming to save you. Not not right okay. now. Anyway, <laughs> not I will save you. You know that, but not right now. So what do you okay. think about? Okay. The Monique versus Cheryl Underwood thing. Do you think Cheryl Underwood, because this is this is what I feel. Cheryl Underwood should pull motherfucking strings and get Monique on it. So what? Monique is trying to get a couple dollars in, a couple dollars in. And the view got to watch out because Monique ain't going to come on there for free. So she, so she pinching. I mean, 
Wait a minute. So I she pinch. It. Hold on. So she pinching anywhere to get a couple dollars. So bitch, if I'ma pinch you, Cheryl, for you to get me on the view, bitch, I'ma pin. I need to pinch a couple dollars out you, bitches. And yeah, let me come on there and say my side. That's all I mean, she wanna do. Was, what you think? Now, my, now, in my opinion, I believe yeah, Cheryl should go ahead and pull some strings. I think she should go ahead and do that. Right. And I also don't think it was. I mean, it, it is about a couple dollars. It's always gonna be about a couple dollars. But right. I think her main thing when she got started was this is what they called me and offered me with. You this motherfucking right. I reached out to them. This is what they came to me with. Right. And now I'm turning it down because it wasn't what I feel like I'm worth. I feel like I'm worth a couple dollars more. Exactly. I'm saying that. Hell of a lot. She's voicing that. And then you got some going against them. You got some rocking with her. But the fact that, like you said, Sure, we ended off the same place at one time. We was breaking bread with one another. So True. To act like you don't know what it is I'm saying or where I'm coming from with this. Like, we, we got to, at some point, stand together. Right. So, yeah, I think you should go ahead and pull them strings. But I think uh, at the end of the day, it was it was so much more bigger than that. And everybody, they lose the sight of the fact that they, they, they was trying to move all that lady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what's so fucked up? Let's go back to Tyler Perry. Let's go back to Oprah. And let's go back to Lee Daniel. Faggot ass. You, I don't know them motherfuckers. They is faggots. They faggots. But you know what though? Only reason I don't like them because they faggies and they undercover faggies. You see what I'm saying? Like, like, like Tyler Perry trying to act like he got a bitch. But he don't. Bitch, he's gay. Yo, Fast, fast up, say you gay, move the fuck on. Lee Daniels, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with him. You know, everybody know he go with the boy from Empire, the light-skinned boy that sing. I don't know his name, don't care his name, I don't like red men. So, you know what I'm saying? But, I feel like, whatever she said to them, God damn it, fuck Hollywood. She said it to them. She ain't said it behind that back. She put that shit out there live. So now, y'all all trying to stick together with motherfucking Hollywood. Hollywood. Well, when Monique come with that machine gun, machine gun and blow that motherfucker up, bitch, just be standing there because she coming your way. That's how I feel. Don't try to hide behind Netflix. Don't try to hide behind Lee, behind Lee Daniels or open motherfucking house that got mud slotted out in California. Don't try to hide none of them places. Stand up and handle that shit. Because when she comes, she going to come. And she trying to keep it. She trying to keep it calm. She trying to do a social media way. You see what I'm saying? Right. But when she do a Baltimore way, let that bitch call me. No, don't call me. I would say let her call me because I help her. But that bitch ain't got bail money for herself. Let her know bail money for me. But she's still my bitch from Baltimore. And like I said, once again, I'm going to repeat myself. Monique, the couple thousands you got left, hundred thousands or whatever you may have left, sugar. You need to look, keep your trainer. Keep your trainer because he got you slim as a motherfucker. Now you just need to start lifting weights because now you need to start toning. Because your arms are still floppery. And her stomach's still like bleh. So what I'm saying to her, I'm not talking about her. I'm not talking about her. She about my size. I think she look like it. But anyway, what I'm saying is... Your hairstylist, that bitch got to be the first one to go. Like, you need to put roller skates on that bitch with no wheels and just push that bitch. Let her motherfucking slide on the bar. Your hair be a fucking mess. Ain't no way in hell, Tia. She have a big bun with all her edges still gray. I don't give a fuck if she say, well, I'm natural. I don't even want to rinse in my hair. Bitch, let me spray some black spray around your edges at least. You see what I'm saying? So for her to let you go out there like that, that bitch need to be the first one to go. I know you ain't got security because what's her husband name again? Shit. That motherfucker is her security. He our manager. He the thief that probably stole all the fucking money when they was out there prostituting or I'm not sorry, sorry, swinging. When they were out there swinging. Because you know her and her husband are swingers. Do you know that, Tia? I heard something about it, but I, you know, I thought it was no, they swingers. You know what I'm saying? And she, but she said she's she come on her show and said you got follow her on Instagram. She come on her show and said, and you know what's so sad? Just hilarious ass gets <laughs> almost a um about three or four hundred thousand views. Monique only getting fifty one thousand views, y'all. That's what the fuck she need to fuss about. Where the fuck is my fans at? You worrying about money, bitch. Get your views up first. 
And that's just something that, you know, I just got a problem with. So I'm taking all messages. I'm taking all messages. What time is it? 7.30. Good. Okay, I got a good 15 minutes. Then I got to get to work, and we rolling. We rolling to the skate, and we rolling to work with me. Y'all rolling. We rolling. I need everyone that used to skate, still skate, thought about skating, dream about skating, skated in their dreams. Allow their kids to skate while they sit on the sideline. A motherfucker that bust their ass one, two, three, four, five times. I need you to lace them motherfucking skates up, y'all, at 8 o'clock. Because y'all going to roll with me going to work tonight. Let me see. Let me see if anybody's saying anything on this bitch. Because I see I got 16 viewers, but ain't nobody saying nothing. So ain't nobody supporting Monique but me. She say, oh, okay, Joy. Hey, Joy. She say, fuck a fan. She needs air conditioning. <laughs> hey, yo, check this out. Everybody is comedians these motherfucking days. Stop it. Hey, Joy, listen. One thing is, one thing is right and one thing is wrong. Monique shouldn't have never turned her back on us. Baltimore was going to ride or die with her. Y'all know she great come back in town this month or something. I think she's going back to the comedy factory. That's when you know a motherfucking comedian is fucked up. She just was here, y'all. Watch this. If Listen, Tia. What do you think about this? Do you think a motherfucker is fucked up if they, number one, come in the same city? I don't care if it's their hometown or not. If they come in the same city they were in uh, less than six months ago. If they come back to perform less than six months from uh, six months ago, if I if I perform today in Baltimore, February first, I'ma say, not January, February first, right? And I and I come back in June to perform again. Do you think what's Danita? What's up, Danita? Do you think I'm fucked up? She needs to accept the money and use it to resell herself because she's not relevant anymore. Exactly. Go ahead. What you say, okay, T? So she's, so she's trying to get her relevance back up. And, I, I mean, yeah, she would have stuck with us through the long haul anyway. It wouldn't even have made a difference. But because she chose to step out and act like at one point she was forgetting where she was from, it, it kind of falls back on her. So that's what it's kind of going down. And that little point, like you say, is getting low. So any type of little show time she can get, she won't try to take that. Right. So, and you know what? Let me let me piggyback off of something you just said. You said because our coins is getting low, right? Check this out. I understand that, but I'm going to tell y'all, it's got to be something in the water in Hollywood. Everybody from here that gets to Hollywood, that say, yo, I got y'all know I constantly say, bitch, I, I'm taking all of y'all with me. I mean that. But yo, I'm telling you, it must be in the contract or something like like, yo, you got to do this different and you got to do that different. So what I'm saying about the whole situation is, good to see you, Bishop. What I'm saying about the whole situation, Bishop, and you give me some input on the Monique and Cheryl Underwood situation. But my thing is, I say to all of y'all, yo, when, when? Because I ain't saying if, and I'm 48 years old. And I don't feel like you got to be a certain age when you make it. When you make it, you make it. If you got it, you got it. It's just that simple. So I say to you, Tia, if I get, when I get to Hollywood, or I might just get to California. What's up, Peterson? You know, I might just get to California. And you understand? I might make it to L.A., but not Hollywood. You see what I'm saying? I might make it to Los Angeles, right across the road, right across the bridge. But what I'm saying about it is, even if I make it that close, right, somebody might get in my ear and say, look, Nick, you do that Facebook Live every day. But you got to be writing more jokes. They might say, you got an interview for a movie. They may say, you got an interview for some juice, a fruit juice line. You might got an interview for a clothing lingerie line. You understand what I'm saying, Tia? Right. So, I might feel like I'm going to stay. I, I'm, I'm with y'all all day, though. I'm with y'all all day, y'all, in my heart. Because this way I started. I would never turn my back. But what I'm saying is, it may be something in Hollywood that gets in your head. It may be something that you drink. 
Or no more so, like you said, something in that contract where you got to leave where you came from behind yeah. to go further. Like, this is them, their way of trying to motivate you to telling you you got to leave, like you say, the people because of the way they consider us to be. And I mean, it's not a lot of us, but it's a, it's a great number that they feel like you have to leave alone. So you got to minimize and change the people you surround yourself with and all of that stuff if you want to stay here and go further. So let me ask you this. So what you think will happen if her and um Cheryl sit on that and sit at that table together? What you think gonna happen? Be like it's just a conversation just between them two and nobody else there for real. I mean everybody else has an opinion, but I think at the end of it all it's just more so like her pretty much putting out there. Girl, you got something to eat? Did you I tell you one thing, I know what happened to them turkey wings, but them bitches is dry. They dry. Yeah, they ain't yeah, they yeah, they ain't good. They ain't good. Well, how did you make them? Fuck you mean? I fix them the same way I fix them every time I fix them. I just pour, you know what? I just pour, hold on, hold on, I'm on my live. I ain't talking about no dry turkey wings. Huh? I based them. You what? You based them. Yeah, I took the spoon in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I mean, I mean, I got the, I got the joint on it now. They great, oh, they great be all right before I get out of here. We ain't gonna worry about them, but they dry shit right now. Look at this shit. Yeah, they dry. Yeah, ugh. I can't eat it like that. But anyway, all right, girl, be safe, be safe, girl. Have a good day here. Okay. All right, so listen, y'all. Thank you, cousin. I love you. Shout out. Shout out to Knock em Out Car Wash. Shout out to you, baby. I see you on this motherfucker. Shout out to Tommy. Tommy, okay, Tommy said, let's read what Tommy said to you. So Tommy said, when you don't do shows and sell out shows, your money get low. Woo. Real low. Think about, she, um, think, think about she bought... Her value down when she did the movie for 50 grand. Is that what she did? Uh. Oh, see? See? See, I'm always learning stuff. I'm always learning stuff. You understand? Okay, my cousin. Okay, so Mikey said, I'm so proud of you. Love my family. My cousin Nicole, funnier than both them bitches. <laughs> 100 <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. But you know what? Let me tell y'all something, right? Shout out to Coco Brown. Yeah, Coco, I'm bringing you in this bitch. Coco Brown, comedian, actress, right? Was under Tyler Perry contract. When I when I first started this shit, right? I was talking to Coco Brown, y'all. Yes. California, LA, Hollywood, straight called me. And um, she was like, I like your name. She said, but in Hollywood... She said, you're going to have to drop that motherfucker. Yes, she did. Yes, she did tell me that. So, I mean, I, I shout out. I send a shout outs a lot. You know, I holler at. I got her phone number, all, all that. And then, you know, she was like, I watched you. She said, sister. She said, you got it. She said, just keep working and keep working. She said, one thing you need to know about in Hollywood being a woman, comedian, and she ain't even throw the race card in, but I knew that's what she meant. You understand what I'm saying, Tia? She right. said being a woman, comedian, in Hollywood is hard. She said they put you through so much. So by the time you get here and you performing and you being a comedian, she said your, your revenue is going to start turning into doing different stuff. Like commercials, you know, like acting. She said because it's so hard there for women. They don't believe that women can seriously be funny. Swear to God, that's what she told me. And I was like, well, matter of fact, I'm going to call her one day, y'all, and have her on this bitch. Oh, I'm going to call her motherfucking. I'm going to see if I can get in touch with her by Friday. I'm going to have her on this bitch, y'all, if she'll come on. If she'll come on. Yo, I'm going to have her ass on this bitch alive while we talking about the Monique situation. Because at the end of, hey, Glenny Glenn, because at the end of the day, what folks fail to realize is, yo, she's our sister, number one. That's number one. Straight off the break. She's our sister, number two, because she's from Baltimore. She our sister, number three, because see, oh, should I say that part? Should I say it to you? Fuck it. I'm going to say it. She our sister number three because now she in the trenches. Ne Fuck it. Monique was the shit when she was fat. Now you want to get small. When you getting her head getting long, you know she's she stressing. Huh? <laughs> what? She had to lose that weight for her health reasons. You know you getting older. She got to get all True. Okay. Her knees probably fucked up like mine. 
But she can't, she shouldn't try to get too small. No, That's just flat out. That's what she was trying to do, but it just ended up happening because of some type of diet or whatever that she did. And a little pull here, a little tuck there. But, I, you know, I believe it was more so for health reasons because, you know, she was, she was brand the large. Mimi, I've been looking for you, girl. So, listen, my, she, she, she was a big girl. What I say about the hair? What about my hair, Tia? What about my hair? I'm telling you, it's just, you're cute. Did you see my husband? like, oh, I really like your hair. I'm like, yeah, she was <laughs> <laughs> Y'all motherfuckers crazy. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. This that good one. This that good piece right here, baby. Yes, indeed. Yes. Yes, this that good piece. So, Tobias says, because when she was here, Cheryl Underwood is right behind her. Yes, exactly. And I know me and, oh man, he ain't knowing here. Me and Twan was talking, right? And I don't know if y'all remember it, but Cheryl, she's no different than Monique. First of all, Cheryl, you don't even have a husband. Secondly, Cheryl don't even have no kids, do she? I don't even think Cheryl Underwood even got kids. So, you know, that's crazy, but whatever. And then thirdly, Cheryl Underwood is a freak, an undercover freak. From from what they say on Facebook. Because I had a guy on here, Torn. And Antoine, excuse me, Antoine said when he gave a comedy show here, he had Cheryl Underwood here, Tia. T t and she and he took her down Lexington Market to see Lexington Market. She met a guy down Lexington Market, Cheryl Underwood. Yeah. She met a guy down Lexington Market. She asked Twan, can you give him free tickets and backstage passes? So that's what he did. He gave her, he gave the guy free tickets. Cheryl took him back to the hotel and fucked him. Now y'all ain't get that from me. Cause y'all know I don't gossip on my shit. That's not what I did. But she took him back to her hotel and she laid with this man. Now what's crazy is she trying to act like she ain't from these trenches. You see what I'm saying? She might have fucked her way to the view. She might have sucked the dick or two. I mean, she looked like a horse. People say we favor each other. I say that's a damn lie. A super lie. But she ain't a bad looking sister. Don't get me fucked up. She not bad looking. But what I want to say is, and we, all, we all fall short, right? But who going to be there to lift you? Now, I want to know what some more saying. Because she ain't saying nothing about some more. So I want to know if some more talking. What is some more saying about it? You funny as hell, my beautiful friend. I love you. Because men started it, so that's how it do. it's viewed. Such a shame. Yes, it is. Because, baby, my show, this right here, this all day, this right here all day, check this out. We got some funny motherfucking men there. But we going to bring it. Being women, we going to bring it. Call me. Call me. i give you insight about this. Okay, Tommy. Yes, Tommy. Tommy. Tommy Whittle said, call me, baby. I will call you, honey. Yes. Yes, baby. You will be my next tomorrow. We're going we gonna to keep this shit going for the rest of the week. Fuck that. We're going to send that shit out to Monique. Monique had be, <laughs> be furred. What? <laughs> yeah, hey. Oh, yeah, she don't have no kids. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so what I'm saying to y'all is, hey, Tobias, oh, my cousin Tracy, hi, y'all. I'm trying to read what y'all saying. Danita said, was he a crackhead because they, they be deep down there? I don't know if he was a crackhead. I don't know. And you know what? He probably was, but he probably looked good to her, and she just wanted to fuck him. Ain't that, Lawanya, what is Lawanya? I'm Wanda, Wanda, I'm not fooling with you. I still got that thing for you, girl. The Hair Artist by Davis. Shout out to you. Hey, Greg, baby. Funny funny is funny, male or female. Thank you. Exactly. But you got to remember, in Hollywood, you know it's predominant. What is it? How you pronounce it, Tia? Predominant. What is it? Predominantly. Pre predominantly. It is, thank you, a uh, uh, male. Men. You know they swear men run it. So, with that being said, they, they swear we not funny. You know, so I may not make it to Hollywood, but I know I made it in hood. I made it in hoodwood. Didn't I? Hoodwood. Hoodwood. I done gave me a new motherfucking name. I made it here in hoodwood, baby. So, fuck Hollywood. Bitch, you can't get big. When you big in hoodwood, 
Fuck Hollywood. Where the wrong, yo? Where my thumbs at? Let's go. Where my mother? There we go. Let's get it. Fuck Hollywood. Shit, I'm tired of working for a white motherfucker man anyway. Fuck y'all. I ain't listen to y'all motherfuckers. I inboxed you my number. That's what it do, baby. That's how we gonna carry it. What's up, Anthony? I'm 316. Where you been, baby? So like I say, I'm trying to say, <laughs> he say Holly, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, I'm in Hollywood, baby. Hollywood, Hollywood, wood. I like both of them. Okay, I'm your number. Oh, ah, Tommy Whittle said I'm your number. I'm your number one fan now in Baltimore. Love you, thumbs up. Hey, <laughs> what's up, baby? When you getting your ticket? Let's go. Let's get it. When you coming out? I'm gonna kill this shit. This right here. Let me tell you, I got Uncle Black. I don't know if y'all ever heard him, but if you didn't, baby, you don't want to miss him. I got Cheryl. Cheryl Womack, she's an artist. She's a singer, and she sings her ass off. She gonna blow the house off, the roof off the house. I got a special, I got a special performance that I ain't even put on this, because I don't want nobody to know about it. I have a special performance that's gonna have all of y'all in tears before I come out. This the one in March? Yeah, March 24th. I got Miss Rita. Shout out to you. She coming all the way from D.C., y'all. She going to do what she do. I got the, the boy Bones. I don't know if y'all ever heard him. He did shows with me before. He is immaculate. He's immaculate. I was trying to get Gerald Baylor. Gerald Baylor don't want to return nobody call, answer nobody call, or text a bitch. I wanted Gerald. Gerald, my man, all day long. Man, I got apple scrap. If y'all ain't never eat no apple scrap before, y'all gonna come and feed off this motherfucker. This nigga gonna have y'all crying, laughing. I hope he ain't too motherfucking high and drunk because he be high shit on stage. Shout out to you, baby. The white man. Wild Bill. If you ever said you like the white man, you wanted a white man short with glasses, then bitch, with the Louis dick ever, I'm sure, that's who you want. That's who you gonna get. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you, Tommy. Let me tell you something. The other dude, Pappy motherfucking bear. That's the one I just did the show with y'all. Thank y'all for the heart. That's the one I just did the show with y'all over there in, in Pages. We sold out. It was standing ovation only. Only. Okay? And the one and only. Just started out. She got five motherfucking shows booked already. She only been doing comedy for the last two weeks. For real, for real, about last three weeks. She been doing comedy for the last three weeks. The one and only, Sonya Mondarmin. Hey, yo, this chick right here, when I tell you when she hit the stage, her ass is so big, her motherfucking ass sit up, bitch. It salutes to her titties, okay? That's how motherfucking that shit do. Them bitches is saluting each other. Salute, bitch. Hey, bitch down there. Salute you, too. Hey, let's get it going. That's what they do to you. So, so, with that being said, you got all seven of them that's going to come to the stage. They're going to murder the motherfucking stage. And after they murder it, I'm going to have to come the headliner, and I'm going to bury you motherfuckers. I'm telling y'all flat out like that. they going to murder y'all. And I'm going to take y'all behind that motherfucking abandoned warehouse, baby, down there on that back road where there ain't no motherfucking lights. Only lights you're going to see is my motherfucking headlights, bitch. You're going to be taped. You're going to be gagged. You will be buried alive because I'm going to kill it. Fuck Lincoln Park, baby. Lincoln Park ain't got shit on this location where I'm going to bury their asses. You feel me? Bigger than yours. Hey, yeah. Her butt sits up more. Yeah. But I heard they call it the BLT. You ever heard of it? T, you ever hear the BLT? No. Where's the show? Oh, the show is at Diamonds, baby. 9980. Screenshot it while I'm holding it. 9980. Liberty Road. Diamonds Banquet Event Hall. Yeah, right here. It might be on their backwards for y'all. March the 24th. Call me if you want tickets. 443-980-2322. That will be the number. Call me if you want motherfucking tickets. Tia. Mm -hmm. 
Why am I going to murder these motherfuckers? I shouldn't be saying it on Facebook Live, should I? You think they're going to lock me up for it? That's going to be too many murders, I'm going to tell you. It will be a sold out event. I have tables. Tables are 150. It's seat 10. You will be VIP served. You will be VIP. You will get a little extra than the $25 tickets. You will. So if you do the math, you're saving $10 if you got 10 people to a table. I got vendors in the building. I got snap photo in the motherfucking building. Shout out to you, baby. Let me tell you. This, yo, I don't, I just, listen, you know how, you know how you do shit. If y'all know any events that I ever gave, meaning birthday parties, meaning my son's birthday party, meaning any mother, my comedy shows I gave, yo, guess what? The motherfucker is called, what? Calling, I mean, no, 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 diamonds are girl's best friend. Where you get that? Where you get this habit from, Nicole? What the fuck you mean? I got it from the uh, the the venue where I'm having it at. It's diamonds, so I come up with diamonds. All girl's best friend. So everybody that's got a boyfriend, everybody that's got a girlfriend, everybody that's got a lover, a secret, a mate, or a partner, a husband, whoever you may be, a dog that's dogging you, whoever he may be, whoever she may be. Just know this. I got tickets for you. You may creep there, but you may see somebody there. So, hey, I ain't got shit. <laughs> Tim, I ain't got shit to do with it. I got security on deck. Armed. I have armed security on deck. It will be a cash bar. Know your motherfucking limit. If you get the fuck out before the show start or during the show, you will be exited out of the motherfucking building by my security. And it's best for the security to do it because you don't want me to do it. Hands down. I got bail money. This bitch got bail money. So, like, uh, what'd you say on deck? Don't want me to Okay. This is you got. Is it 8 o'clock, bitch? I got to get out of here. Oh shit, it's 753, y'all. Rolling with Nicole. I need y'all. Yeah, I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need to bungle up and Greg get up out of here. Where my hat? Right there. Okay. Nikki, that's what she do. So listen, y'all, 753. She Greg go to work. Y'all know, y'all know the title. Well, not the title. Y'all know rolling with Nicole at eight, right? I'm Greg take y'all to paint this mail. Disco skate, rhythm skate, 4604, shake and bake, love play toes. I'm going to take y'all to Crystal. I'm taking y'all to uh, 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 Westminster. I don't know the name of that ring. I'm taking y'all to Westminster. I just want you guys to know y'all skating with me tonight. So, like I said, if you have never skated before, you will skate tonight. If you don't know nothing about skating, hey, John, you will learn today. I am giving lessons. Y'all don't look at me. Shut up. Y'all know my motherfucking sweatpants. They large, y'all. They extra large. They large. They underarm. Tobias said, be safe. Thank you, baby. I will. Check this out, y'all. Let me tell y'all something while I'm getting ready for work. Yeah, they say it's cute, though, to you. But listen, let me tell y'all something. I'm losing this weight. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Tia, you see that stomach? I never, but I'm about to tell you, don't forget nothing because you're trying to wrap it up. Oh, oh, yeah, I got everything right here. I got everything right here. Check this out, y'all. Listen to this. Y'all see all this? Wait till y'all see my motherfucking outfit. I'm hosting the show. Let me, I'm, I'm hosting half of the show. The first half, I mean, the first half, I am hosting. The second half, lucky, baby. If y'all ain't never here, check a lock. Little Lucky Charm. Little Pillsbury Dough. Did y'all did y'all know we had our own black Pillsbury Dough? Boy, Ted, did you know that? Uh-uh. I like a little meat. <laughs> Listen, let me tell y'all something. Hold on. Oh, shit. Oh, oh I thought I got to stop. Listen, y'all. The little, my little Pillsbury Dough guy, Little Lucky Charm. Yo, he hosted. He doing the second half of the show, right? Mm, mm, mm. Why I get ready? Why I go and meditate? Hold on, let me turn this oven off. I can't believe this fucking. 
When I get in the car, and I'm a um, y'all rolling with me. Y'all rolling with me, dude. See you rolling with me. You skating tonight? <laughs> get your skates on. I love skating. Y'all ready? All right. Right now, let me show y'all something. Right now, Tia. Tia, where you at? Tia, where you at? Co-host, you there? <laughs> Right, y'all think I be bullshitting, right? Let me show y'all. Tia, and it ain't gonna mess up. Mm, okay, hey Nikki, hey Nikki, hey cute Nikki. Look, y'all, I'm gonna put my skates on. Y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Look, damn, I got waters and shit. Ain't it? Look, y'all ready? I'm putting my motherfucking skates on. Look, y'all see that shit. I got them motherfuckers. I told y'all I got them bony leaks. Told y'all last night. 62 millimeters. I got them bone. Look, no stoppers. I got plugs, baby. You see the front scuff. You see the front, the front scuffed up. Y'all ready? I got them right out boots. Y'all ready? Joy, where you at? Joy, where's you at? I need a bag. Get a bag. Y'all rolling, team. You got your skates on? Come on, y'all. Tie your skates up. Lace your skates up. Fellas, this is an adult skate. No children. All right? Where my gloves? Right here. Y'all ready? Where my black gloves at? That I had on earlier. You know, I always feel like I got matched. Y'all know one thing about old people. Yo, don't we always got match our shit? Every time. <laughs> Yo, these young girls put on all them colors. I be looking like, what the fuck? You look just like a goddamn clown. I hear me, clown? All right, y'all. Y'all ready? Tia, you hold on. He's a, your old ass can't. Shit, nigga. I run rings around your dumb ass. You stupid, nigga. Oh, let me see. Oh, don't know how to. Let me show you how. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Hold on, y'all. Get mm. Oh, yes, I'm spitting shit so I'm signing my mouth. I don't like your nasty shit. All right, y'all. I see y'all in a minute. I'm g I am gotta get off the iPad so I can get on my phone. Talk to y'all in one second. Goodbye. See you in a minute. Let's roll.